How to do a binomial expansion with a TI-84 series calculator. This video is on how to use a TI-84 series calculator to expand binomials. To find out how to use a TI Inspire calculator to expand binomials, click here on the left side of the screen. If you are in a pre-calculus class like my students, you've expanded binomials like this one, quantity x minus 3 squared, dozens, or maybe even hundreds of times. And this is what the expansion looks like. Expanded, this expression is x squared minus 6x plus 9. But what if we have this expression, the same binomial x minus 3, but expanded instead to the third power? Building on the work we did earlier, quantity x minus 3 cubed equals quantity x squared minus 6x plus 9 times quantity x minus 3, a trinomial times a binomial. And using the distributive property of algebra, we would multiply each term from one factor by each term and the other factor as shown here with the green connectors. After distributing and simplifying, we would get x cubed minus 9x squared plus 27x minus 27. We could continue this process as many times as we want to determine the expansion to any non-negative integer power we choose. But expansions to greater powers will get enormously tedious and increasingly prone to foster mistakes as the numbers and complexities of calculations increase. Fortunately, there is a pattern to expansions as they get larger shown by the binomial of the quantities a plus b raised to increasingly larger powers. And here we go as high as quantity a plus b to the fifth power. This pattern of coefficients can be condensed down to what we call Pascal's triangle. Here the coefficients are highlighted in green. And here is the triangle with just the coefficients left over. We can continue to expand Pascal's triangle below by adding the coefficients going downward as shown. We can keep up the pattern and finding coefficients for increasingly larger powers. While I would like to continue the development of the concept of binomial theorem, the real purpose of this video lesson is to show how the TI-84 series calculator can give you these coefficients to make an expansion a lot easier than by either expanding the expression using the distributive property or even by using Pascal's triangle. But I thought an introduction would be helpful for the viewer to understand the meaning of the calculator output values. We will expand the expression quantity x minus 2y to the ninth power. We see the cursor blinking when we turn on the calculator. Enter 9 for the power of the binomial expansion. Start by pressing the math key on the left side of the keypad. We see the math menu. Arrow to the right over the PRB for probability submenu. Scroll down to option 3, NCR. Press Enter. Now this operation is pronounced N choose R. The 9 in front means that N equals 9. Now create an opening bracket by pressing the second key at the upper left of the keypad, then the opening parentheses key just above the number 8. Next, enter the 10 digits of 0 through 9, each separated by a comma. The comma key is above the number 7 key. In the view screen, digits 0, 1, and 2 have been entered, but are not seen as we've arrowed to the right of them. Create a closing bracket by pressing the second key, then the close parentheses key. Press Enter. In this view, we see only five of the ten coefficients of the expansion. There are five more of them, and we get to these five others by arrowing to the right. Here we see the remaining five coefficients on the right. Here in red below are all ten coefficients of the binomial expansion in set notation. Here's a specific problem. Find the fifth term of the binomial expansion. So we'll use the expansion we made, but find the fifth term of that. We know we'll be using the fifth coefficient listed, 126. The next things we'll do is bring out the expanded form as we did at the beginning using A and B. Our fifth term is this one, 126 A to the fifth power B to the fourth power. Now we'll substitute x for a and negative 2y for b as shown by the green arrows. This gives us 126x to the power of 5 times negative 2y to the power of 4. Negative 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So we have 126x 
to the fifth power times 16 times y to the fourth power. And simplifying by multiplying the numbers together, we get 2016 x to the fifth y to the fourth, which we box in as the fifth term of this binomial expansion is our correct answer. Let's do one more. Find the fourth term in the binomial expansion of quantity 2x plus 3y to the power of 4. Stop the video lesson, work the problem, then play ahead to see if you got it right. First, enter the value of n, which is 4. Press the math key. Arrow to the right to the PRB for probability submenu. Press 3 to get to the n choose r or ncr option. Place the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 inside brackets, each digit separated by a comma. We get the brackets by pressing the second, then parentheses keys. Press enter. We see the binomial coefficients for the five terms in the expansion. Here's the binomial expansion using the number of terms. The coefficients are in green. This is the fourth term, 4a to the first power, b to the third power. And substituting 2x for a and 3y for b, we get 4a to the first power times b to the third power equals 4 times 2x to the first power times 3y to the third power, which equals 4 times 2 times x times 27 times y to the third power. And multiplying all the numbers together, we get 216xy to the third power, which we box in as our correct answer. One last thing, sometimes you might see n choose r written as n at the top inside parentheses and r at the bottom inside the same parentheses. Just something to show you that you may encounter so that perhaps you won't be very confused when you do. Also, there's a formula to find the coefficient for any term. It's n factorial over r factorial times quantity n minus r factorial. And while I won't show you how to do the keystrokes here, here is the formula entered into the calculator. For our first problem, the fifth term of binomial to the ninth power, we get 126, just as we found earlier. This was how to do a binomial expansion with a TI-84 series calculator. Thanks for viewing.